so I will be using a human powered mouth bug vacuum. Let's take a look. Check it out. I caught a founding queen. Okay, check this out, guys. We flipped a full Campanotus colony. All that hullabaloo are these little ants. All right, guys, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm on the hunt for ant queens. I used to keep a ton of different species of ants, so I'm out here trying to collect some new ant queens. They just flew, there was a lot of rains in the area, and hopefully I'm able to catch some new queens that I can make my own colonies with. So right now we're targeting Campanotus, which are carpenter ants, and we're hoping to find a few different species. So let's see how many ant queens we can get. All right, looks like a good rock right here. I must have been mistaken. Nice thing about ants is that they can be under the tiniest of rocks. Because, you guessed it, ants are tiny. Oh, oh. Ucky. That's like the blue milk from Tatooine. Ah, oh, this looks like a good rock. Ah, oh, it has been chosen by a colony of fire ants. The exact opposite of what I want. Try this one. Oh, here's a colony. Perhaps. Come take a look at how many workers are right here. All that hullabaloo are these little ants. See them? Oh, they were on my hand. See these larvae? Looks like these larvae are pretty large in comparison to the workers, which tells me that this species has not yet had its nuptial flight. Most likely, those will develop into the male and female reproductives that they'll send out at, during rains at, later in the year. So, not quite what we're looking for. A little premature on that rock. Okay, check this out, guys. We flipped a full Campanotus colony. Now, there's no queens, but you can see the different sizes in the soldiers and the workers there. Check them out. This is what a nice, good, mature colony of what some of these Campanotus is going to look like. Really, really cool. Right, guys, check it out. Some species of Campanotus. You can tell it's a queen because of the pronounced size of the thorax and the abdomen. So, why would you think a queen might have a larger thorax and abdomen? Well, her thorax is larger because it houses her wing muscles when she is in a late, when she has wings and she flies out to find a male from another colony to mate. And her abdomen is large because it stores all of her reproductive organs, all of those eggs. Campanotus belong to a group of ants that are semi, or that are, excuse me, claustral, which means she has to store a lot of food in her abdomen, in her gaster, in order to survive until she has workers to feed her. So that's why these claustral ant species are very, very large and they have that big pronounced thorax and abdomen. Take a look. That is a beautiful little ant in there. Nice size, medium size Campanotus. Really, really cool. Let's see if we find any more. She was just under this rock here. So luckily, according to my research, I was correct in assuming that there might be some founding queens out and ready for the capture. Super cool. Some more stuff here. Some worms. Some fire ants, no thanks. More fire ants. No 
thing. Oh! Is that an ant queen I saw? Indeed it was. Look at her rummaging. No, 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 you're coming with me. <clears throat> I have to set the camera down for a second. Cool. Oh, you guys can't see that. Oops. The little ant queen. Come on. Let's see. Oh, interesting. Look at this little colony of Monomorium. Very small ants. Oh, and a colony of Fidal right next to them. I'm actually going to collect these. Hey, Gage, come here and help me film this. I found an interesting little ant colony and I'm gonna use my aspirator and I think it'd be funny for the viewers to see how it works. Okay, folks. This is an aspirator. Basically, a human mouth-powered bug vacuum. These are small, so I cannot grab them with my bare hands. So I will be using a human-powered mouth bug vacuum. Let's take a look. Okay. Where did my lovely queen go? So this is strange. This looks to be... Wait. Is this all Fido? Oh, this is interesting. I thought this was a colony of Monomorium, but it appears to be a colony of Fido where the where the where the workers are black and the soldiers are red. Oh, here's my queen. Here we go. Ha ha ha! There's my queen right there. As you can see, my human mouth powered bug vacuum does quite well in snatching up exactly what I want. Now these are called Fidol. Their common name is big-headed ants. And you can tell here that the soldiers have large heads. And that's where they get that name. See those soldiers with those big fat heads and then the workers look smaller. Well, I will collect some more workers and brood so that this queen can do quite well. Ah, yes, the spoils of war. Delish. Very cool. Nice. Okay, guys, check this out. Check it out. I caught a founding queen. But take a look, she's a little, little further on in development. So here she is, looks like this to be the same species. We also found her with what's called a nanite or a nanotic which is one of the first cast systems in these colonies. So what they do is when the queen is by herself, obviously she doesn't want to spend all that food that she's stored up on making real big soldiers. So she's going to create these tiny workers. She's going to give them a little bit of food and then they come out very small, typically about between a tenth to about a third of normal worker size. And they will help her, they'll clean her, they'll take care of the eggs, so that she's able to kind of take a step back and just focus on producing more and more eggs to grow her colony. How cool is that? Well, I think this is all the Campanotis queens I need for today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning some about these Campanotis queens. I really enjoyed catching these um, as, a, as a younger um, kid in high school, and I still enjoy catching and keeping these ant queens um, as an adult today. So really, really cool. Really glad that I was able to time this little venture right and find some of these really cool ant queens. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and tune in for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.